Hi, and welcome again with Ambraco Tutorials. Uh, so let's just give a small recap about what we have done in the first video. It was installation and uh, introduction about Ambraco. Uh, we have talked about Ambraco and we have just give it a small installation and we installed the uh, default startup uh, project from Ambraco, the template and the theme. And uh, after that, we just we we, we just check it together and we saw Ambraco and a few features in Ambraco and what's Ambraco was there. Uh, so today, or what the plan for the next videos from today uh, from this video to the start. So I just was thinking to build a website, or if you have a static website, to build it uh, with Ambraco and to make it a dynamic website. I think it's this the, one of the main features of Ambraco to make uh, your website dynamic. So let's just start and show you what I how, what I will do today with you, and we'll I will do it step by step together. Uh, firstly, we need a Visual Studio to create a new project. But before creating project, let me show you uh, uh, the template I have, or you can download any free template online. Uh, I got this one from uh, Color Live. It's free. It's a good website. They have too many free uh, templates, so you can just pick any one of them, and uh, we can do it together. So I pick just this one. It's built on uh, Bootstrap 4. Uh, actually, you, you can pick any one you like. I pick this one because it's about food, and I like food. Uh, and we have too many things to learn to do. You know, all of this they can be dynamic. Imagine how 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 it will be nice and good things. When you give your customer a full dynamic website, he can add pages, delete pages, edit the content. He can do whatever he wants. So I think this you will get. I think I think it will be good paying for this, good payment for this one. When you do something for your customer, so the customer, when the customer will be happy. They will pay good money. Uh, so this is my plan to make this website a dynamic website. Dynamic means that a customer can do anything he wants on this website. So he will back sometimes to the developer to modify something or add something. But the main things is the website is uh, he the, the main things he wanted. It will be easy for him and easy to change it. Uh, so let's start together. And first things is we need to create uh, Visual Studio application from Ambraco. So I will not choose uh, .NET Core, I will choose uh, .NET Framework because Ambraco built it on uh, .NET uh, Framework. I think they are using uh, version 4.742 I think or, some, or something like that. Yeah, 742. 4.742. So I can use uh, 4.8. It's not that big change or not that big issue for them, you can use it. Uh, so what we can call this, uh, let's call it Ambraco. Uh, Ambraco, it will be version 8. Let's call it this tutorial one. Next. So I will choose empty project. I have explained everything here in the previous video, but just I want to show you a very simple way how to install it. So this is a project after we create it in Visual Studio. First things is we need to install uh, Ambraco. We can install it, install it in many ways, but the best way is to uh, install it as a package from NuGet. Uh, very simple. Uh, just you can say Ambraco uh, CMS. So uh, we are lucky. I think they release version uh, 8.2 now. It's the latest version from Ambraco. I think uh, a few days ago they, uh, they released the late, this version. So we are lucky to work with this version. Uh, so as, after we install this one, we'll create our database and we'll start a new project, but it will be a blank project, nothing there. So we'll build everything by our hand. Firstly, we see, we'll see how to build a small project and how, how to try to manage the layout with the pages. Uh, I will try with small, small uh, some, some uh, solution, something. Let's say a small tutorial how to just to manage this stuff, 
how to create the data type after how to create the your uh, template how to call the models uh, I will see uh, step by step after that we'll implement it with our template I will give it a, a second just to finish this one accept the agreement it will take uh, a few minutes depend on your internet connection but as you see and Blackwood they have too many things uh, they have their own uh, library and they add everything they need with the with the, this current installation so after we finish installing the package uh, they give you small uh, things or command the things to do it after you finish you need to uh, rebuild your project and if you have any uh, let's say if you want to upgrade from release to release or from version to version you should uh, know what you to do to do after that they give you a hint about everything so now we build our project everything's fine and work we're good so let's give it try and run it and we'll see the installation so now I'm wrap up the the installation page asking us to provide your name and they need uh, email let me use this one and they need password let me choose same here I don't need anything so now if they ask they're asking you to install straight away or customize it uh, what's mean that install if you say install it will use the local uh, SQL Server Express and they will install everything for you or you can choose customize and choose which database you you need you need an Azure or SQL Server or maybe you have all database just you need to put the connection string and straight away just install it in our situation what we are going to do we we'll choose uh, SQL Server the local SQL Server so they're asking you about the uh, SQL Server uh, name I can use dot just to choose the local or I can write local or I can copy uh, the server name from this one here uh, where we in here so uh, let's say this is my server so they need the Ambraco database where they where they will install the Ambraco database so you should create new database uh, let's create local database let's give name uh, um, Raku. let's say version 8.2 copy the name our database after this execution finish we make sure our database is ready yes so now we'll go to illustration page I just passed my uh, database name so they are asking you here the logging name the logging uh, user for the database and the password uh, and my uh, this in the current installation now here I don't have any any user because I'm using local if you have any user with your database you should provide everything to get the uh, correct uh, installation so here I don't have anything I'll say to them just with the integration uh, authentication I'll just say continue uh, this one important here uh, last time as you remember we choose install the starter uh, website uh, as I mentioned the, at the beginning I said I will install it from let's say from scratch we will we'll create our pages we'll create everything by our hand and we'll see how that work with our new template so which say no thanks I don't want uh, to install a starter uh, website so just do this one and we'll install will take time uh, okay I'll just resume my video just to not take too much time with this installation so this is the first page after we finish the installation they are asking us about the email about our password so we'll log in Let's see but maybe you need it so straight away they will take us to the uh, back office or the dashboard to 
see the or to control the website and to create our pages and everything from this control panel uh, let me just give you small overview about this one or just small introduction uh, about the control panel so the content will be here the pages which the end user will see in the content and how to create we'll see how to create this pages or, uh, from the from settings so media everything you have uploaded it will be here and the settings the settings before and the version 7 they had settings i think and the developer section so in the version 8 they merge them together and the settings and the developer to be in one uh, tab only we have the packages to install any external package if you need i think you can find in uh, umbraco or any external one uh, users you can manage your users and the group and everything through this uh, page you can create user or you can manage your groups i think they have good uh, it's nice stuff how to manage your uh, groups and uh, users uh, members so we have the users and we have the members uh, members same if you let's suppose you have forum so you need to have uh, people to sign in and write posts or something like that so it will be through the members uh, I don't have much knowledge about this uh, the forums and the uh, translation I think this one the important things here what we need this one uh, tell user packages will not use it that much will use settings and will use the media and will use the content so uh, first thing first let me just show you something how to create page here in the in Ambraco and how to create the template so let's start together and see how how to create them so let's suppose every website there we have layout and after that we have the uh, pages so let me first things create uh, layout so I will go to the settings document type so I will choose the document type so they have many document types so document type without template or document type collection or we can choose for that to just to make the hierarchy good so most of the time or depend on what you need will use uh, to use so here I will use the document type with template so why I need a template because I need I need to build my website with template it's not will it's not uh, so without template it could be uh, let's suppose partial or something I don't need to use that much styling in it well maybe in future we'll use that option too but let's start with this one uh, so here let's suppose the let's suppose this is your template here what we need to create so I'll say layout I can choose icon from here uh, give it any color you like so this my layout will be uh, let me just give it save I don't want to use it so here they're asking you this page the layout what will what the the main things you we need to have in this uh, layout what what will be here so let's say always the layout there is filled uh, let's call it uh, settings so in that settings what I will have always I will have in my layout I will have I will give the ability to change my let's suppose my logo so the user he can upload the logo change the logo whenever he wants so the user can change the logo so I don't need to him to upload the logo from FTP and after that he changed the path on the HTML page no I give him something small so I'm go to the layout and this place and just change the logo here he can change it very easy so on here they said add editor what's mean this editor so how he will upload this uh, logo so I need tool to upload it for for him I think they call it here uh, data picker uh, let me just check it Add. yeah I think they call it that uh, not data picker not this one yeah uh, it is media picker i think somewhere here yeah this one so you can upload multi or you can upload one or you can uh, i think what we need here is only one to uh, use one media picker just to upload our uh, image 
So here they have many things nice. So they're asking you this image will be mandatory or no. If I say mandatory, you can't save nothing if you don't not uh, put this image. Uh, they're asking you more things. So do you need to validate it as a number or as a URL or as an email? It's look how, how this thing's easy and nice to, to add it here. So let me just submit this one. This first things I have done it now. The image. Let's suppose what we need more. Uh, let's suppose the title. Uh, the page title. So the title, how it will be easy. Title should be string. So just I need to copy. Uh, I can say a text box for this title from here. I can use it easy. So this text box, uh, it will be like uh, this one. Uh, this here, very important uh, things. I'm uh, they create one object for this title here now. So you can use this object if anytime you need it. So let me submit it. I'll show you again what, what this means exactly. Same here. They're asking you this uh, title will be mandatory or no. And what's the validation for this one? Let me submit it. Uh, let me after that save here too. So let's suppose this the main the main things I needed on my uh, layout. I don't need more stuff here. It's this back to you back to your website. How 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 many data you need in your uh, uh, main page or the layout page or the master page. Uh, so let me stop now and uh, with this one because my video has been now nearly seventeen minutes. I don't want it to be long and boring so i will see you in the next video and we'll, we'll continue on together how to uh, build a website with umbraco see you in the next video bye bye